Hi there. Back with my motor again. Trying to uh, get rid of the electronics on this thing and problem is I'm not sure how these three wires work. <laughs> this motor will run without a starter and a battery and everything like that. Question is how do I hook up these wires to work? So what I've done is I've taken my old harness which is fried completely. You can see right there where the wires just just got fried. I don't know exactly how that happened, but I've stripped out some wires, color-coded to the wires that I have here, and I'm going to just use some inline quick adapters to go ahead and hook those into place. Now, I want to make sure there isn't any excess wire sticking out of them. These things, uh, these adapters work pretty good you don't they don't require any stripped wire or anything like that and all you do all you do is you put your wire inside here let's go I'll start with the white one I suppose put the wire inside here right as far as it will go take the white corresponding wire that I've stripped out of my harness. Now, I made sure when I stripped those wires out that each one had a connector piece on the end of it so that I later on will be make it easier to do what I need to do with that. And once I've got that, where's my pliers? Here they are. Now I've got that in line there and it's out to where it needs to be. So just go ahead and pinch that down clip that and there you go that's that's connected in line gives me extra wire to work with I'm not all cramped up next to this motor like this these little wire clips you can get at any any uh, electronic supply store I would suppose Very handy, very easy to use, very reliable. That is when you get them connected properly. As I did not do with this one. <laughs> In my haste, I pulled the wire free from where it should be. Did not end up where it should be. As it should be. There, we try it again. Not, not a big deal. And this time, it appears I've got it correct. Um, so I got the white and the red connected. Now just the black one to connect. Just like that, I've got my wires extended out to where it'd be easier to, to work with them. Eventually, I'm going to be putting a uh, switch probably right here to turn it on and off as soon as I figure out how these work. Now, I know that red is positive on direct current and black is ground. What the white is for is right now a mystery to me. But since I have these connectors hooked up here, I can well semi easily. I can put this uh, in place here. And just to make a 
connection between those two. This one here, the white wire, as I said, I'm not really sure about how to connect it or uh, if this is for the kill switch or, or what. So I'm going to have to experiment. All right, now what I want to do first is I want to get, make sure I've got spark to my plugs when it turns, when the motor turns. So I'm connecting these up. I'm going to disconnect, I'm going to take out my uh, spark plugs for two reasons. One, I need to be able to see when the spark is actually getting to the plug. And two, by removing the spark plugs, I also remove the resistance to the turning of the motor so it'll turn much more freely. The plugs, this plug looks to be in good shape. <clears throat> so, go ahead and remove the other plug. Now, once I get these out, that plug seems to be in fairly good shape too so no problems with the plugs now this should turn fairly easily yes it does and this should if I'm correct now this should give me an indication of a spark on this plug over here if I've got everything connected properly and I can get this bad boy grounded right here Okay, I'm not seeing a spark there. I'm not seeing a spark there. Which is not good. It means something is not connected properly. So, let's see. What do I have to do here? Let's try... White and black, maybe? It's kind of hard to get them connected like that. But see what happens there. Still no spark. Hmm, this is not, this is not looking good like that. How do we do this? I'm going to take another wire now because uh, I'm having trouble connecting these wires together. So I'm going to take Another wire when I can find my wire nips. Here they are. Shut right out. If I can get this stripped out, then that'll give me a, a little wire that I can use to connect that with. Plenty of wire there. Just got a twisty, twisty, twisty. This is multiple strand copper wire. Get it all twisted so that it doesn't come all undone. And everything. All right looking a little good there okay so let's see can do something like this here shove that inside there and that makes a good connection there do the same here black wire now I'm thinking maybe, maybe this ground needs to be hooked onto the motor somehow. That's, that's a possibility. 
So I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Meanwhile, let's let's just try a few different things here. Let's get these two connected and see if I can maybe connect this onto the the motor somehow, the, the engine, so that it will be have a quick ground right there. Let's see. Maybe I can use this little screw right here to do that with. Okay, that's a good ground right there. Now let's see, do we have spark? I am not seeing any spark there. connect that's the thing that's the trick of the whole deal connecting these wires properly hmm that's obviously not correct what am I going to have to do here maybe do I connect them all three let's see how that works spark no spark at all I'm beginning to get a little concerned now because nothing's working I'm trying different uh, ways of connecting these wires nothing seems to be working not getting any spark here at all why why am I not getting any spark here this is very curious are connected well. I am not getting any spark here, which is beginning to worry me. I'm beginning to think there may be some problem here that I'm unaware of. Perhaps my points and condenser or something not right here well I'm gonna have to shut her off for now because I really don't know what the problem is here I'm gonna have to wait till I can get a small motor mechanic come help me out with this